Hello, welcome back to another video. So today, the Vanguard of Nolgath bonus package was added to the game. I'll preview that. There is a full rare AC set you can form and one you can buy for gold. You can buy an AC set for gold. Pretty cool. Let's get into it. Okay, so the April Fool's event is out. It came out on April 1st uh, at midnight, but uh, by the pack. They updated it for the Friday release as well. I usually stream on Friday, but it's just a small update with a bonus pack and a shop today. So yeah, we're just gonna do a quick little video where I preview this stuff. So this will be the bonus pack up first. Okay, I haven't seen the shop or any of the items yet other than the preview image there. Okay, a sword that is color custom. Nice. I actually don't know exactly who the artist is. I haven't seen this set on Twitter, so I, I don't know offhand, but these look pretty nice so far. So, good variety of weapons and an upgrade package. Sometimes you get upgrade packs with only like one or two weapons in them, so that is nice little variety. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Is this also color custom? It is. Wow, okay. Well, that's that's pretty good. That is pretty good. For some reason, they have a color custom and a non-color custom version in the shop. I guess it's intended to be blue, but they also give you a color custom version. So that's a really sick weapon. I'm definitely pulling that out of the actual bad shop. Uh, there's an armor here as well. Both a... Uh, I'm guessing, yeah, one is color custom, one's not. So two of the same armors. We got helmets as well. That actually looks pretty good. <laughs> like I like that helmet style better than that one. So yeah, pretty pretty good. And some capes. So I'd say for this weapon, I, I would get the most packaged. The armor and stuff, cherry on top, honestly. If you like the uh, metal plate armor with the metal full face covered helmet and stuff like that, uh, it does look pretty good. So pick that up if you want it. Don't if you don't, of course. Uh, I, I'd say it's a, it's a decent upgrade pack. A new set of gold items that cost gold and are AC tagged <laughs> were available off of the Jester. Are available, not were. And they're seasonal too, so come and check them out if you want. They all cost a large, large amount of gold. So yeah, pick these up if you would like to get them. Uh, they're kind of crazily priced, but if you have a bunch of gold that's burning a hole in your pocket, the cape's pretty cool too. The cape, the cape's pretty neat and it's color custom. The cape might be the the pickup, the only thing I buy out of the shop. Not because I don't like the art for the armor or anything, it's just something I wouldn't wear. But uh, yeah, really, really cool stuff. Go grab that if you'd like. I saw a post on Twitter about AQ Light being bad. Man, I wish I knew about that. I've been using it for years now. Well, it's really easy to say something's bad and then give no evidence of why it is other than you thinking that it's compromising accounts, even though there's no evidence that it is. Real boogeyman situation there, huh? So there was actually new drops added to the Rainbow Derpicorn, me defending AQ Light aside, uh, today. Which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if I've got them yet. I got not not the one. That is one of them. So a unicorn helmet and a few others. I'll skip forward to when I actually get all the new drops. Okay, this is all the new items from the Derpicorn. You have the unicorn helmet as shown, the potato head. Uh, there's what it looks like on your character. <laughs> uh, pretty good. There's a pet also, right there. Uh, I don't know my pet's turned on right now, but it's a pet, a uh, member only and a mace, a duck mace. So you can check out all of those are new drops. Along with the drops that were added yesterday, the dirt blade, the good blade, not that one, that was from the shop. There's actually two in the shop that are pretty cool if you haven't checked out the shop for April Fools. Uh, the cane was added, hammer was added, uh, red hunting hood, which is pretty cool. Uh, seasonal item, not rare. Uh, the shop items are actually rare though. Uh, leeches, seasonal and Fright. The Fright one's actually pretty great. I think it'll actually, I kind of like it more than the original, not gonna lie. So yeah, some cool derp items. This is from the 2011 event in Slash Join Battle Fools, uh, and the new ones were added today. The Sketchy Frogs Art had three new Betrayal Blades added, the sketchy ones. I have the eighth one equipped, I think, yes. 
So these are all brand new drops today. So if you played yesterday, be sure to go pick those up. The member one looking pretty sick there. So go grab those all sketchy ones. They're all AC tagged uh, seasonal. Here is what the other ones look like that drop off of the same frog sard. So go grab all of those if you would like them. They look pretty neat in my opinion. If you got the house drop from the derp, uh, the same place the derp items drop, uh, the house item actually gives you a quest. The quest gives you a badge for your character page. If you care about that, even though the character pages are basically nobody, I don't, they're really weird now. But anyway, besides that, if you want the badge, the house item, click on it, do the quest, you'll get the badge. So if you like the set I've been wearing this video, uh, except for the Baleen helmet that's available actually in the tower, I think, or is seasonal for pink Baleen time, I don't, I, I think it's available. But uh, the AC tag sword, the cape, and the armor, there will be another armor too available sometime in the future, so maybe tonight or tomorrow, we don't know. But uh, you can pick them up off the sketchy chicken cow, not in Battle on Town, but in Garden Quest. So come here and farm this guy. These items are rare. You can farm them and they will be going rare uh, when the time is up. I don't know exactly the day. They are rare rarity, all of them. So make sure you go and grab them. They're pretty cool items. The quest in the Garden Quest map will also give you a badge. So there's a merge shop and a badge if you do all the quests. The quests are super easy. You just accept the quest, go and kill the NPC and you're done. That's about it. So all the NPCs are just around here. Every one of these NPCs has a whole list of drops. I'm not going to go through each of them in this video because we'll be here for like 20 minutes because there's a lot of them. Uh, some of my favorites are there's a little pet from this guy, a little farmer pet with a shotgun. Here's what he looks like. Pretty cute. The guy in this room drops a garlic glock, <laughs> which is pretty cool. So yeah, so come here and uh, just farm them. All their drops will drop almost immediately. I don't think they have any like super rare drops. You can get the armor from almost all of them, but the, and those are sometimes lower drop chances, but mostly once you get the armor, you should have almost all the drops for that person. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna go through all of them, just a few of my highlights of the items that were good from those guys. So yeah, that was April Fool's event for this year. Uh, there's still some drops that haven't been released. The Lay set with the North Face, the, the Drip meme, that uh, set isn't out yet. I don't know if that's being released this year or sometime in the future for something else. It's kind of a meme set, would make sense with April Fool's, but I don't think it's ever been confirmed coming out for April Fool's and it's not out yet. Might be like a daily drop thing. They've done that for Lay sets in the past. So look out for that in the future. If it does come out, I'll definitely include it in a news video or I'll make a video for it itself. It's a pretty cool set. So thanks for watching. Leave a like on the video if you like the subscribe channel. If you're not already, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye-bye.